It's the 19th of May 2013. Tony Close and I are off to dive the SS Durbant with Colin Hill and his buddy who are both on rebreathers. As you can see we had a cracking day. The wreck lies on its side in about 42 metres of water, about six miles from Amwich. This is the diver net photograph of the wreck. The uh, shot was on the bow and we swam to the stern where we bagged off. It's a typical Liverpool Bay wreck because it's uh, covered in dead man's fingers and plum rose and enemies. Came across quite a few openings into the uh, hull, but I must admit I didn't fancy going inside as it all looked a little bit too tight. Although the seabed's at 42 metres, we stayed at about 36 so we could extend our dive and travel along the entire length of the boat. And we're just coming to the bridge now. This is in the midships. There's hardly a piece of steel that's not covered. This looks like a uh, companionway leading into the uh, innards of the ship. You can see from the sediment in the water that we uh, caught the beginning of the plankton bloom. I would imagine this is an amazing wreck when you've got decent vis and slack water. This is Tony disappearing off into the engine room. I decided not to follow him. I could just see the top of the triple expansion engines. Right at the end of the dive before we uh, bagged off we came across this four inch gun. Just lying on the uh, stern of the wreck. Somebody tried to lift it in the past but without success. We're just having a good look at the breech mechanism here. Tony bagged off and uh, we did a fair bit of deco when uh, it means we got a bit cold. And our next dive was on the Dakota which was a nice rummage. For 